Philly Comic Examiner here with the latest Funko Powered Mystery Box unboxing. This time around we have Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. The theme of course is Rogue One hitting theaters December 16th. Um, in a recent Q&A Funko um, stated that they're going to continue basically spoiling the pops in the Smuggler's Bounty boxes because they're quote unquote proud of them. Um, this is a little bit fishy logic to me. Of course they're proud of them, no one doubts that. Just as they're proud of the ones in the Legion of Collectors box and the Marvel Collector Corps box. Why they choose to spoil the Star Wars ones is anyone's speculation, but one can only seem to think it has to do with either sales or part of their arrangement with Star Wars. Although Star Wars is a subsidiary of um, Disney just like Marvel is and Marvel doesn't have any kind of spoiler rule but hey anything's possible anyway so just be warned that if you're gonna follow Funko on social media they're gonna be spoiling the pops in the Star Wars smuggler bounties smugglers bounty boxes for the foreseeable future um, I guess wait and see if they decide to ever stop spoiling it. That said, let's get into the box. They spoiled the two pops that were included in this box the day they announced it. So, for those of you left who haven't seen it, prepare to have that reveal. Um, the only real... Uh, prediction I made for this box after having both the uh, pops spoiled was that, well, probably unsurprisingly there will be a t-shirt of the Rogue One cast of characters and the pop style. Probably no big surprise there, but, you know, that's kind of the, the most you can think of other than, you know, the, the pin in the patch. Um, Funko insists there'll still be plenty of surprises, so let's see what we have. Alright, true to form, we have the pen and patch. I'm going to try and do character names for the Rogue One, because I'm just going to mess them up. But, if you can, oh, yes, just try and get it out. Yeah, there's the droid. There we go. And then we have the requisite patch right here. All right. As always, you know, well done, pin. You got your patch. You know, no surprises there. Let's keep diving. This seems like it's the info card, which will have spoilers, so we'll set that aside for now. Oh, all right, and here we have a t shirt with, oh, look, it's got the cast of. Rogue One on there. For once, one of my hashtag Funko predictions came true. Let's take a look. Do do do. Oh, okay. Very wisely have Vader in there. Alright, there's your there's your Standard t-shirt design. Pretty cool. It's a nice design for t-shirt, but not really a surprise that it's in there. Right, let's see what 
what else we might have? Mm, all right. Mm, mm. Let's go this way. All right, we have the Gin Urso Pop. Um, there are some non-exclusive versions of this character as Pop. This is, I think it's like her jungle outfit or something. I can get it out. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad pop. Um, design looks clean. We've gotten a few in the in the recent past that have had some some flaws to them, but this one this one looks pretty good. Got the base, got the bobblehead, removable base. You know, decent detail on the figure. Doesn't look like, you know, any real easily breakable pieces. Good. All right, let's go. And here we have an Imperial Death Trooper. Pop vinyl. us already know because we were spoiled by Funko. Oh, all right, it's got some nice weight to it actually. Looking pretty cool. I mean, when, when doesn't a stormtrooper or death trooper look cool? Clone trooper, always quality designs. Blaster rifle. Oh. See the paint there is not. I don't know if it's going to come across or not, but that's supposed to be black and it's very smudged. A lot of smudging in there. Oh, well, hopefully yours doesn't look that way. You see that? That's not glare. Not totally. That's paint smudge. All right. Okay, I think we got one more thing in here. Sorry about the lighting, folks. I tried something there, didn't work. Oh, didn't work out. All right, this is kind of cool. This is a, a Hakari Mini. I haven't, I've never seen one of those. I don't know if that's new. I guess I can consult the info sheet because this is the last item. First ever Mini Hakari. There you go. And he comes in a multitude of translucent glittery colors. That's how's that? Does that look is that remote oh here we go. Is that remotely visible? There you go. And there's some of the other items. Invocard's always nice. I am not going to show you the reverse. Oh, I hope I didn't just spoil it. I am not going to show you the reverse of this because it does, in fact, spoil the pop for the next Smuggler's Bounty box. I will tell you the theme. The theme is The Empire Strikes Back. Not arguably the best Star Wars movie ever. There's just no argument. It is. Fade her down. All right, there you go. These are actually kind of cute. Kind of cool, actually. So there you go. Translucent, glittery. This is clearly the, I don't know, gold. I say clearly and then I stumble as to what it is. Da, 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 da. Gold. I don't know if one's more rare than the other. I was showing you nothing just then. Doesn't say whether or not one of these is a chase. 
or if they're all equally distributed, but there you have it. The first ever Mini Hikari. Pretty cool, actually. So, well, I guess Funko lived up to their word. There was certainly a su surprise in there. The first ever Mini Hikari. Alright. Well played, Funko. Well, there you have it, folks. You have your two well-spoiled Rogue One Pops. You have your predictable but still well designed uh, Rogue One t-shirt got the patch as always got the pin as always there you go, that's, I mean that's a fair value two pops, a mini Hikari t-shirt certainly got your, you know they promise at least $50 worth of value in each of these, and you certainly got it here. So. Overall, nice, a nice, a nice box. Um, remember, in January, the theme is Empire Strikes Back. No, not going to say anything about the pop. All right. I was tempted to just reveal a little bit, but no. Um, so that's it. Um, if you would like to order this Smuggler's Bounty box, you have not missed your chance, go ahead and subscribe at smugglersbounty.com. And once you become a subscriber, you will have the option of ordering any past boxes. And then, there you go. You're set for the Empire Strikes Back box. And there on forward. Um, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, thumbs down on the video. I suspect several thumbs downs. But hey, that's, that's life. Um, feel free to follow me on Twitter at PA Comic Examiner. And share your own Funko predictions with hashtag Funko Prediction. See you next time. Goodbye.